Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas. I'm back outside again because it's 48 degrees and I think it's beautiful. So I'm so excited to be able to film outside again. Don't mind that stuff because that's me sorting into category, which I have done for you for this Dollar Tree haul. Have no idea how big it is. We'll find out together. And uh, we're going to get started broken down into category before we begin. If you have not yet hit that subscribe button already and you enjoy this video or any of my other content, please consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. We would love to have you and we tend to have a lot of fun here. All right. What's the first category? All right. First category is uh, the tech pet car aisle. You know the one. So they had these. They had these little milk bone sweetheart snacks for doggies. It's 2.5 ounces. It says hugs, cutie, love, like conversation hearts. Absolutely amazing. And it is uh, produced in Buffalo, New York, USA. So got one for my Henny and one for my mom's dog for Valentine's Day. Then I got this for my son, little man. Um, it's one of those flat magnetic flashlights. I'm sure you've seen them before. I have one that he plays with all the time, but I decided to get him his own in blue to keep by his bed for when he um, goes to the bathroom at night because he still gets nervous. So that's for him. Then they had these new manual flashlights, which I like that you turn on and off yourself. So I got one of Star Wars Mandalorian, the child, to put in a package to a friend for her son. And then I got this one for little man for his room to see if he likes it. So this Spider-Man one that says woohoo on it. Yeah, little LED light and an on-off switch there. I think that's it for that aisle. That was a quick one. I am next going to jump into a bigger category, which is, um, toys and entertainment yeah we're gonna group them together so the first thing i got is this little blind bag includes four animal erasers so little man is back to a prize bag <laughs> for staying in his bed all night long so i got that to throw in the prize bag next i got him this for his valentine's day gift they had this Marvel Avengers splat ball, Captain America. So, you know the one. You throw it and it gets a little smushy and everything in the house sticks to it. That one. Then, I got one of each of the packs I could find of this Curiosity. Four four ounce containers of modeling dough. So, these are the colors on this one. And this is the colors on this one. I mostly got it for the black and the white because I think that those are kind of the rarest colors. Also, Little Man has that um, Play-Doh dental set and you really need the white for the teeth and it keeps getting messed up because you can put braces on it and all this stuff. So anyway, whenever I find white, I pick it up. But And then the rest can be saved for school supplies because they always ask for this also. So not bad, I think, for $1.25. Next, I picked up two of these in my last haul, and then I went to another store that had a brand new case out. It's Miller Place, if you're local, and they had the other three. So I picked up now all five, and I'm going to try to resell them on eBay. If you don't know, I do some part-time reselling on eBay for fun. Um... I'm gonna to try to sell the lot of all five on eBay and see what happens. But these are the other three in addition to the two I got last time. This is a XL15, the Zerg fighter ship, and the LA uh, Armadillo tattoo. I have no idea what's happening. Uh, I never saw the movie. But anyway, these big light year Hot Wheels. So now I have all five. Yeah, those are the five. We'll see. Okay, since I said toys and entertainment, I have looped in books and movies with this also. I only got one book for myself because it seemed fun, like mindless beach or pool reading. And it is this by Leanne Dobbs, A Whisker in the Dark, an Oyster Cove guest house mystery. Soft cover. 
says discovering the 300 year old skeleton of shipping tycoon Jedediah Biddeford in a wall is as big is in a wall is a big old hassle for Josie Waters, owner of the Oyster Cove guest house. Especially when the Biddeford's descendants turn up certain that a family legend about treasure buried there must be true. Anyway, whatever. It just seemed cute. Next, these are the DVDs and Blu-ray. Um, I got some cool stuff. Some is for personal use. Some is to attempt to resell, maybe. If not, a dollar at a garage sale will be fine. But these are for us, and I was so happy. I came home and showed my husband, Brett, immediately. Blu-ray, we got The Purge. I think this is the first one, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the first one. I love it. We love the Purge movies. We always go every, like, you know, around 4th of July when they come out and we see them. And then we also love all of the Conjuring movies. So they had Annabelle Creation on Blu-ray. Yes. So I got both of those for us. Then I also got this for us because I thought it looked fun. This is They Reach. It looks like a just a really cute little scary movie. I don't know. Then I got this to either add to Brett's Valentine's Day gift or save it as a Christmas present. I don't know. I thought it was cool. Greatest Super Bowl moments one through what is that? No idea. <laughs> what is that? 31? No. 51? I 40? No, we're not even there yet. I have no idea what that is. Anyway, XLI. no idea i'm terrible with roman numerals okay then um i was thinking for resale this in a metal tin from hell to victory marines in the pacific so it's in this tin and it has three dvds with a total runtime of 270 minutes then i got this i don't know Pro probably for resale. I'm not even sure. ESPN Films Collection Volume 1 Five Disc Collectors Set. It has Catching Hell, Charismatic, The Fab Five, Herschel, and Renee. So, then we have this for resale The Many Lives of Sherlock Holmes over 30 hours so ooh. and the birds are back yeah so i thought that was pretty cool too so it has nine films 39 tv shows 20 old-time radio shows a 24 page illustrated book and dvd bonus features that was cool then uh for us for travel basically i'm thinking of doing another um mommy and me vacation with little man if i can work out work to do it i got hotel for dogs i think he would like it i bring my dvd player i'm so old school i bring my dvd player to hotels with dvds yes then i got this to check for resale but if not little man will keep it so this is a toy this is a limited edition exclusive Jessica Cruz Green Lantern. It's a four piece building toy. I'm sorry, I had that in with the DVDs, but it is not. This is this one. It's not lined up properly and that is annoying, but it has the trickster Lego minifigure in there. And this is, um, DC Comics Superheroes Lego original movie Justice League Attack of the Legion of Doom. So that is that for that category. However, I'm going to add one more thing, which would technically be in like the office supplies and stationery aisle, but I have nothing else. So we'll just throw it in there. I think this is a phenomenal deal if you can find it. 36 count of Prang colored pencils. It is double layered. That is amazing because I feel like we sometimes forget, or at least I do, Prang is a name brand and a good one. Pretty high dollar. Like when I've seen them on Amazon and things like that. So 36 for $1.25 is absolutely fantastic. So I got two. 
I may add one other item since it's technically toy and entertainment, but I got this for kind of a housewares issue. So I bought a white pool noodle. I bought all white pool noodles. I just needed another one. And I get these for my boots to stand up in my boots and one cuts into three perfectly. And I didn't want multiple colors because I'm like that. So I had one left and I was like, that's not an even number for boots if you cut them in three. So now I got another one and that is six pairs of boots. No, no, that's so wrong. Six pieces, three pairs of boots more. If I ever need to do it, I'm prepared for that. So I got that, okay. Next, since we just did that, let's segue into housewares since that kind of dual purposed, okay. First thing I picked up is this a big old Pine Glow, 106% more than the 16 ounce size. It is 33 fluid ounces and it is an antibacterial and disinfectant all-purpose cleaner in fresh citrus scent and it kills the virus that causes COVID-19. So then I was running low on a parchment paper. So I got some, it is uh, 20 square feet. Then I got tons, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm fine. I'm not ashamed. I got tons of these and I got tons of these in my last trip too, because this is absolutely amazing. And, uh, I regretted not getting more last time. So if you don't know, I'm sure you know by now, but these in wash aroma boosters in these containers are seconds of downy unstoppables and, or glade fireworks or whatever the heck they're called. Those are shaped like the drop shapes. So they are just seconds. Now, the last time you saw mixed bundles, you saw um, really misshapen, like the stuff that falls off after they cut these, like just chips and stuff. But um, these are pretty good. But you do get some like this, you know, like two that melted and stuck together, kind of. Does that, can you, I dropped it. Anyway, but yeah that and uh, I got one of every color this time for fun so that's the blue they smell so amazing guys oh my goodness this is a mixed one and you see you saw that big chip that just fell there that's how the other ones used to look this is a mixture of both because I can see the the fireworks drop shapes and the downy shape And then yellow with some sprinkles of blue in there. Pink with some sprinkles of blue in there. These are the drop shape ones. This is the gain fireworks or whatever they call it. Yeah. I think I have that right. Could be completely backwards. And this is the white one with every color sprinkled in there, but primarily white. Such a good deal. If you like these things, if you pay the 10 to $20 for a container of it, run. Next. So I got only one of these the first time and then I was mad at myself for only getting one because I'm like, oh no, what if something happens to it? I love it and I want another one. Then I could not find another one. So they must have flown off the shelves. But then at one store, I found one left and I grabbed it. This dog's welcome people tolerated press board sign. I have one on my front door right now on a wreath hanger and I absolutely love it. So I'm so happy I found a backup. It's, it's like love guys, really, really, really. I'm so happy, okay. Definitely not so exciting, but um, I ran out of these square shaped snack bags by Surefresh, you get 50 of them. And they are 5.1 inches by 4.7 inches. They're pretty big snack bags, honestly, but okay. Then I got these just because it was a fantastic deal. These are the sandwich bags and this is the bonus box. So these are six and a half inch by five and seven eighths inch double seal. It's a bonus box. Instead of 40, you get 70 for a dollar 25. I thought that was amazing. So I just grabbed one. Then next in housewares, I got this gorgeous big blush pink basket with handles. And that is going to go on the side shelf of my vanity and my walk-in closet for makeup storage. And then 
I got nine of these these blush pink shoe boxes with lids. And those are for my shoes, mostly heels that I don't wear that often that don't fit in the little shoe cubby squares that I have. So, yes. I have them in clear right now, but once I saw these and they completely match the motif of my closet, I was like, I'll be switching them out and using the clear ones for something else. Because I apparently like giving myself more work on a daily basis for no reason at all. Unnecessary work. I just do it like it's a character defect anyway moving on to the next category the next category is going to be accessories and apparel so the first thing i found they only had these two so i got show you the correct side that would help these crazy socks men's so this is kellogg's fruit loops it's men's six to twelve crew so I did get two of those, and then I got two of the Kool-Aid. Those are probably going to be gifts. Then I got this for Little Man, this Layer 8. Now, it is the girls' one. They had the boys' one, which was black, and I'm like, what is the difference? This doesn't look... But the only difference... The only, only difference is this pale pink eight right here. Okay. Um, oh, this might be too small for him. Oh, yeah. Never mind. It's infant. I might try to return it. Anyway, it has a $20 price tag on it, though. But it is infant size. Oh, I should have sent it to my friend. My friend, if you watch my uh, Timu my best friend has a new niece yeah I might do that okay I'll send it to her so now we know but anyway I was gonna get it for a little man because for Greece because I was like why black why boil your brain do only girls get to have a cool head so that's why I had gotten that but anyway now it'll have a better better place and now you know it's infant I don't know if they all are but anyway then the last accessory and apparel item, and I got two to have one as a backup, are these Disney Encanto bags. My son is obsessed with Encanto. And we dance and sing and all the time. So I think he's going to absolutely love that. And that might actually be a good way to store some of his things. He has a lot of Encanto games and stuff too. So he's got the whole house board game and all that so whatever but I love them I couldn't believe that they were at Dollar Tree they're slowly bringing it in as the movie ages out a little bit and uh, it would also make an amazing gift bag so I got two that's it for accessories and apparel very very small category and I think the next one we're going to move on to is food category is actually food and drink but I don't think I have any drinks today I could be wrong but I don't think so so anyway I got two boxes of these keto fat bombs they have 14 cups in here and just because the price is crazy that's why I got them yeah then I got the polar opposite of that this Madigan's hazelnut spread with cocoa in a glass jar so it's kind of like a Nutella and it is a glass yes and it is a no it's not it's a plastic jar and it is a product of turkey 7.05 ounces then i got these as a side dish i got two of them this is the thai kitchen fried rice the microwavable packs then i got this and somebody told me in the comments that this stuff is usually pretty pricey this kinders 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 i still have no idea how to say it it's a rub and this is the seafood blend 4.75 ounce spice jar so it's big this is plastic <laughs> but i just grabbed one of those then i got one of these bell's sliced salad spanish olives with pimentos that is five ounces dry weight then i got two of these to try to save in case of an emergency if we ever run out of coffee which rarely ever happens because we're coffee addicted this Sanko Carabay imported coffee. It is processed and packaged in Mexico, but it doesn't say where the coffee is from. So I have no idea. 
like where the beans are from. But I got the breakfast blend. They're six ounce bags. They had hazelnut and French vanilla also. Then I got these because fire pit season is right around the corner. And they are the stuffed puffs, but in cookies and cream, which would should be really interesting. It also tells you how to use them for Rice Krispie treats, which, yeah, maybe I should get more. But $1.25, these things are like $4 and change at the supermarket. Then I got just one of these to have because we don't really eat white rice ever. Um, we just eat brown rice. But I got one of these to have. It's good until or best by August of this year. And I got it for little man if I ever need it for his lunches to top with something. I don't know. But just to have it on hand and ready in 90 seconds. This long grain white rice, 90 seconds. Then I got this three pack of Spice Traders Ranch Dressing Mix Packets. I feel like you can absolutely just use it as a seasoning because they give a chicken recipe on here and stuff. And I mean, I think this could just be a seasoning. So if that's the case, which I'm pretty certain it is, that's a good price for $1.25 for three packs. Because the name brand ranch seasoning is crazy expensive. Uh, as a sweet treat for little man's lunches, this little three pack of fruit gusher mini pouches. I think honestly, he has never had a gusher in his life. So this may be a life changing experience for him. We shall see. Then I got two of these sour punch individual wrapped pieces. You get 25 in there. And I actually got them for Halloween or maybe for like his goodie bags for his party because the best buy date, because his birthday is October 11th, best buy date is November 12th of 2023. So it's a little close, but either his birthday goodie bags or Halloween, it'll be fine. Then I was very hungry while I was shopping, so this seemed like a good idea. This Barton's Caramel Peanut Crisp Clusters. Peanuts, caramel, and crispy rice drenched in smooth milk chocolatey confection. Yeah, there's eight of them in there. Then I got a bag of these. Snack Factory Pretzel Crisps in the Everything Seasoning flavor. And that is to add to Little Man's Lunches. That's a three ounce bag. And also as a uh, sweet treat for Little Man, these looked so cool. They are Jello Gummies in Lime, Blue Raspberry, and Strawberry. And uh, we have over a year on them, 13 months Best Buy. And they're actually shaped like that. Like I can feel it in there. So it's just so cool. Now for a little man's snack options package of Jack Link's turkey jerky. Then I got these to try. These baked by Jennifer confetti cake batter cookies. There are six in here. What do they look like? They're best by August 17th of this summer. You get two two stacks of two and then one single two single ones to make the six. <laughs> yeah. They don't look very appealing. Oh, they feel soft though. Yeah, they feel soft, so. Whatever. Then poor little man for his Valentine's Day present. <clears throat> we went to his barber. There's always a story. We went to his barber and now for the first time inside the lollipop container that the kids get to have when they leave, he had little Tootsie Rolls. Well, little man for the first time in his life, I believe had a, a chocolate Tootsie Roll, but then there was also fruit ones in there. So we had the fruit ones and he fell in love. And then I bought the vanilla ones, which he ended up having and didn't know it was a Tootsie Roll if you, if you watch the lunch videos. But now he's obsessed with Tootsie Rolls of all flavors. So I found them at Dollar Tree. They have this little, these little fruit chew, assorted fruits in here. And the vanilla's also in there. 
then I also saw, if I remember, I'll put a clip here because I did it for walkthrough coverage. Um, they had out for Valentine's Day a bag of just cherry and vanilla Tootsie Rolls. So they were red and white. Oh, were they? They might have been red and blue. I don't even know. I don't remember. But if I if if I remember, I'll put it here. Then this is a bigger bag. This is four point nineteen. These are three point seven three. Not crazy, but then just the regular Tootsie Roll midges, the chocolate ones. So those three will go into his Valentine's Day gift. Then I got this for my mom for her Valentine's Day gift. These tropical mambas. She's obsessed. Mamba. Obsessed with these. So she'll be happy. Then the last thing in food and drink, I believe. I am so ticked off. I am peeved. So I showed these in the walkthrough. These little glass bottles of McDonald's pure maple syrup. Okay. It's the first time I've ever seen them. When I showed them in the walkthrough, it is one and a half ounces. When I showed them in the walkthrough, everybody was telling me, oh, those are from Christmas. Check your receipt or check your store because ours were down to a quarter. Ours were down to a penny. I'm like, oh, let me check because then I might, you know, run back and get them all. No. No, I checked before this video. A dollar twenty-five each. Yeah, no, and I'd never saw them at Christmas either, because I would have gotten them for stockings. I know I would have. I never saw them. So dollar twenty-five each, but whatever. I think that's it on food and drink. Well, food. Let's move on to the next category. Okay, next category is going to be holiday. I'm going to start with Valentine's Day, and then I have just a couple of St. Patrick's Day items. So the first thing in valentine's day is this little tiny chocolate box with the puppies that says happy valentine's day you only get five in here um one of each exactly what it says but this is again just to add to little man's valentine's day present in addition to that i got one of these you amaze me this little chocolate maze with this little candy ball that you try to get around before you eat it <laughs> And then it's a card inside. So I think he'll love that. And then I also got him one of these heart cookies. Um, probably for his lunchbox on Valentine's Day. Maybe. We'll see. If not, it'll go into the gift. Then for myself, I finally broke down and got one of these little heart-shaped dishes in the pink with the glitter in it. It says plate. That's all it says on the back. But I thought that would be really cute either in my closet as a little jewelry catch-all or on my nightstand or something. But it does match my closet rather well. So I finally broke down and got it. I didn't the first time I saw them. Then I changed my mind. Then I also broke down and got these. Do I need them? Not particularly, but I had to have them. The pink measuring cups they are absolutely amazing they even have a heart on this end the handle is like super long like longer than normal there's just so many things about it that i love so i just had to get it i had to get this set it's so stinking cute so now i have it and i will use it all year long then i got some bags for all the gifts i'll be giving i got basically the same set but i got the three piece the three piece sizing and the two piece sizing so the two piece is this one and this one. And then the three piece is that one, the addition of this one, and then that one. I was so unbelievably happy when I finally found this. So I'm sure you know about them by now. The glass jars with the ceramic pink top with the heart and a little rubber seal. And I got three of them and I'm going to somehow find a way to put them out in my closet for some beauty cosmetics, something or other. We're going to find something, but I got three. Maybe when I redo my kitchen, I can even leave them out in my kitchen with something in it. Don't know yet, but I got three for whatever I want to do with it. Now, all of this talk about Valentine's Day and gift giving is the perfect time for me to tell you about my partnership. If you watch me, you already know. Rose Forever New York is a partner of mine and I absolutely love them and I absolutely swear by them. So not only do they have a huge Valentine's Day sale going on right now, but 
I have a $25 off code for you. And it's right here, Thrifty Divas 25. Follow the link down below and the code down below will be in the description box as well as in a pinned comment. So if you don't know about Rose Forever, now with Valentine's Day is the perfect time to tell you. So Rose Forever is a company in New York started in 2019. They have real roses. These are real roses that are preserved, that can last up to a year. I've had them last longer, but with proper care, okay? They're, they're designed by flower artisans. They come from Ecuador and all the amazing, beautiful, big, gorgeous roses. They come in every color you could imagine. They have all of the classics. Then they have some bolder, brighter colors, even like blacks and golds, like anything you want. They have so many different boxes to choose from shapes, sizes, materials, colors, just so many different things. They are all vegan so even their suede boxes and all of that is it's made of all vegan material and the proprietary blend the oils that they use to pr preserve them um is hypoallergenic so you don't have to worry about that but i just got a new one i picked out a new one in a box that i happen not to have because i like to have all of them my favorite thus far is the crystal box it's my absolute favorite but this one intrigued me so i'm gonna show you my newest so this is how they come care instructions care instructions how to protect your preserved flowers your flowers are real if you take care of them a little they'll stay beautiful like on the first day for many years Please don't water the roses or treat them with other care products. Please avoid touching the petals as that could affect their lifespan. Ideally, keep them away from direct sunlight. If dust collects after a few months, you can simply brush it away with a soft brush to gently brush off the dust or like a gentle rag. That's, that's it. That's all you do. You never take them out. You don't water them and just, you know, avoid drastic changes in temperature and things like that. They're real, you know? So what I picked this time... And people always ask me, do they smell? They have a scent. It is super, super mild. Um, but it's not... When I had discussed the smell with Rose Forever, I was told uh, that the preservation process kind of removes that that smell. But they do have... They have a little a little something. I don't, It just smells like fresh earth. I don't know how to explain it. But just be aware of that. Okay, so this is the pink suede. This is the pink suede in the round. It's, I got it because of my closet that I've been talking about nonstop. So this is the beautiful pink suede box. Now, in order to see the roses, you have to usually keep the lid on the bottom, right? Which is why I like the crystal box. It's one of my favorites, like I said, because you can keep the lid on and they won't get dusty and you can see through the lid and it has a little drawer for you. I love it. If you want to check out more of the options, you can always type in the search bar, Thrifty Divas, Rose Forever, and you will see all of the gorgeous bouquets I have. So there you go. And there's even a little lip. If I can show you. There's a little lip right here on the edge of the rim, which stops it from going down all the way. So it gives it some height. And this is the pink suede in the pearl pink flower I also chose. But for the fall, I got like a beautiful burnt orange color. I have lilacs. I've gotten white. And I've gotten the black velvet box in square and round. The crystal box. The marble box. And now I have the pink suede. And I'm still not done. There's more I don't have just in terms of boxes. Forget colors. But I thought this was the most beautiful, romantic, girly, like just absolutely beautiful. I got to say, these smell more like rose than my other ones. They may have changed their, their preservation process. These definitely smell like roses, which is one of the first times I've experienced that. But look how gorgeous. They will not die. I always say, if you've seen me say it before, why waste money on roses that are going to be dead in a week? So this is the time of year where we're receiving and giving flowers a lot of time. So it's the perfect time to go check them out. Thrifty Divas 25 is going to get you $25 off your order. No conditions. And the link is down in the description to follow. It is 100% worth it, guys. Any box you like, 
but this one is really, really beautiful. I love the pink. So I'm sharing that with you because we're talking about Valentine's Day. And I want to thank Rose Forever again for doing a bang up job because I mean, I just love them. I love them. I don't buy flowers anymore, like loose flowers that die. Only preserved. Only preserved if you're sending flowers. It's your money, you know? Why throw it in the garbage literally after a week? So I love them. The smell has changed. It's amazing. Okay. I love it. Go check it out. Thrifty Divas 25, $25 off. You will love it. You will not be sorry. The recipient will love it. Tell anybody who may buy you flowers in your life to go do that instead of the flowers you're going to toss in a week. Tell them. Tell them. Don't waste your hard-earned money. Why? I absolutely love them. Look how gorgeous. Look how gorgeous. Beautiful. Different sizes to choose from. Singles. Huge mamma jammas of like 36 and more. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. It's there. Go check it out. Roseforever.com. Thrifty Divas 25. All right, moving on from Valentine's Day. I just have a couple of uh, St. Patrick's Day things. Very, very few. They had these. I feel like they might be new for this year. I'm not sure, but I got myself one. They also had the hard headbands with like the little bow. I do have footage. I don't, I messed up my order of walkthrough and, and hauls, but so it's the St. Patrick's Day headband. It's satin, little crossover in the middle. And then it's this little like gingham plaid with shamrocks and stretchy back. I thought it was so cute. So I'm gonna rock that because I always do St. Patrick's Day dinner. Then I got this for a little man because they always do like holiday days and, and all that stuff, you know, at school. So I got this headband. Now this might be a little, a little feminine, um, but I, I was like, oh, I could just cut that off if I wanted to. And then it would just be the little shamrock headband. So we might do that or, or tone it down a little something, but just wanted to make sure I have it because these things run out very quickly. And then I got this, this two pack of necklaces if they do do the jewelry days and stuff. So he can wear that on St. Patrick's Day. Little shamrock necklace, basically two shades of green. And, you know, if it's important to you, because it's important to me, they are breakaway. So they're safe. All right, that's holiday. Moving on. Let's do party. I have a few things here in party. So the first thing, uh, could have been housewares, but it's literally party. I got two packs of the black party 24 inch, like dinner size plates. I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, 24 count, uh, nine inch dinner plates in black. I use these as my paper plates and I, I don't know, 24 for a dollar 25. It's not, it's not bad at all. So we use these for our paper plates in the house. Then I got these. Uh, if you saw the walkthrough, I said we've seen them before in like the multicolor, like neon or primary colors, but these are specifically red, gold, and silver with, I think, some craft paper color only. So perfect for Christmas or Valentine's Day, and I will be using these as my Valentine's Day filler in two little DIY presentation pro projects I'll be doing. Let me show you. So the first one I'm doing is going to be for my stepfather because I think he'll think it's cute. Two of these. I might do a video on it, but I'm sure you've seen it a million times by now. It's not proprietary or uh, genius, but two of these little pedestal candy dishes, the trifle containers. You fill them, glue them or tape them. And then you wrap it like a candy and put ribbon around here. So that's what my stepfather's present is going to be in. And I got this, which still constitutes party. I got this. They didn't have any cello, but this will work just fine. This gold gift wrap because it's, you know, it's not paper. So it'll work just fine. And it's, it'll be like a butterscotch. Yeah, like a Werther's, if you will. So I thought that was cute. Then, for a little man, I'm making this, which you've probably seen a million times by now, too. So what I'm saying is these will be used as filler in both of these little DIYs. So I will be taking two of these, like, scalloped bowls, taping them together, after filling, 
then I bought this uh, four pack of hard plastic white plates and one of those plates will go under like this. Then I have, I didn't have to buy it because I already have it, the green floral foam wreath ring. And you just cut a piece on top, glue it, paint it, spray paint it, whatever, covered in glitter, whatever you want to make a ring pop. So little man's present is going to be presented as a ring pop this year. And I think he's gonna fight. It's gonna be awesome. And then the last item in party kind of coincides with Valentine's Day as well. Um, could have gone either way, I feel. I showed this in the walkthrough and I didn't get it and I was mad at myself and I went back and I had to dig and dig and dig and dig and I finally found one. This wrapping paper, 20 square feet, but it looks like pink leopard print from afar, but it is made up of all little hearts. So I'm going to probably use that to wrap my mom's valentine's day gifts because I, I was kicking myself for not getting this i could not understand the rationale of why i wouldn't get it i'll also give it to brett for mine <laughs> because i i'm like here's paper you know anyway you might not know lucky you but if you know you know all right so that's it that's party which was kind of all intermingled mostly except for the black paper plates with valentine's day so the next category is going to be um, kind of spring and garden, not much as of yet, but let's just do it. So the first thing I decided to pick up was this 12 piece bamboo skewers, the super, super long ones for fire pits for marshmallows. Uh, we went, we rented a lake house back in, uh, the end of October, I believe it was. And there was a fire pit there and all this stuff. And, uh, we didn't bring our things. So we were literally looking for sticks like the good old days, but you know, this would have been nicer with less bark, you know? So those run out so fast. I find every year. So get them. If you want them, get them now. Then I think it's just these three things and left in this category. So they had these, I remember screenshotting this like a year or two ago, and I've never seen them until now. So guys, if you if you want something, just wait. It'll show up eventually. It might be five years from now, but eventually. So I got one of these for me. This little watering can garden pick to just stick somewhere because it's insanely adorable. Then I got this one for my mom. They had two different types of birdhouses I showed in the walkthrough, but this is a nice simplistic one. And I got this for her to stick in one of her plants or something because it's just so cute and they're metal. Then for myself, I never found these either. These were screenshotted as well. And this time I found one laying around. It must have been from last year, so I don't know. But this uh, plant watering globe thing, you know, the self-watering. And it's clear, which would have been my preferred color because it disappears, you know? Yeah. Now I finally have one. That's the end of that. And I do believe the very last category left in this giant haul is health and beauty, which is not too much, but let's take a look. The first thing I picked up, I showed these in the walkthrough. These Qtex Care nail polish remover pads, swipe and go. So they're individually wrapped and you get 10 in there. So I thought that was great for, for trips. Then if you saw my last haul, I got the Barbasol 12 time magnification suction cup mirror. And I also got the Barbasol two pack of like bath sponges. So then I just got these to pair with it because I thought it just matched nicely. So I got the Barbasol original shaving cream and the Barbasol classic two blade four pack of disposable razors. It's going to have that navy blue and red and white stripe all throughout the gift. I don't know. We're, we'll just add it. I don't know. Then these Eco Gang plant-based toothbrushes. I showed in the walkthrough. They had a whole bunch of different colors, but I got the black on black, which is always my favorite of everything. But I also went a little wild and got the black with the purple head because purple is my favorite color, essentially. And these are sensitive bristles, they say. Then I also got these to keep on my makeup vanity. These, they had um, a different pack, which with regular like cotton bud shaped, you know, but these are 
the cool shape. I don't know what the name of it is, but the cooler ones and they're bamboo cotton swabs. So the stick is bamboo and there's 150 in here, 100% biodegradable stick. Then I got the third brush. I'm still working on it with the sprinkles. So now I have like the big powder brush, the blush brush, and a very loose eyeshadow brush or highlight or whatever. So, I mean, I just can't, I can't, I can't resist. I can't resist those sprinkles. They're too stinking cute. Then I got this to give a try. Freeman Psst. Smooth Dry Conditioner. Unscented, lightweight argan oil. Detangles in between washes and fragrance free. Dry Conditioner. I thought that was cool. And then, I think this is the very last item in this category and in this entire haul, these. I showed these in the walkthrough. Now, I don't remember what the other one was called, but right before Christmas, I had found other ones that were patchouli and something. But this says spring and it says hyacinth and lily of the valley. So let's see how this one fares compared to the last one, okay? The bottle is the same shape and then you have your separate pump in there so it says clean formula 100 percent vegan let's smell it that one's nicer i like this one a lot better than the last one the other one is very heavy i will use the word patchouli it's gonna be heavy um this is fresher slightly more floral airy grassy if you know, you know. Uh, but yeah, I like this one a lot better. But these are so cute to add to gifts. Like really cute, really, really cute. All right, I paired them with all the eco, eco gang stuff and you got yourself a whole vegan plant-based present. All right, that's gonna do it, guys. Don't forget to go check out Rose Forever down below and use my code DRIFTYDIVAS25 for $25 off every order, no condition. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. We would love to have you. So until the next one, guys, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.